I'm starting with my Christmas cookies first, my chocolate chestnut tortelli. And these are cute little pillow cookies that are very popular in Italy at Christmas time. One cup of roasted chestnuts. And you can buy roasted chestnuts at the grocery store, roasted and peeled. And they're nice and starchy and they make for the best filling. And they pair really well with chocolate. And then we're gonna add a third of a cup of sugar. We gotta sweeten up the mixture a little bit. They're cookies, so you wanna make sure and really measure all the ingredients. And a pinch of salt, just to kind of balance out the sweetness. And then we're gonna give this a quick little whirl just to start breaking up the chestnuts. Oh, so sweet. Okay, then we're gonna add two tablespoons of amber-colored rum. It's gonna give it a little kick of flavor. They're not gonna be overly rummy or anything, but they are gonna have a little sweetness. And traditionally in Italy, you'll find cookies during the holidays with rum in them. So it's something we like to do. And rum and chestnuts and chocolate is a nice combo all together. Add two teaspoons of cocoa powder. So we're gonna add cocoa powder and then later we're gonna add uh, chocolate chips. We're gonna do a quarter teaspoon, so not a lot, of cinnamon. I love the cinnamon because it's a warm, sweet spice. Kind of reminds me of the holidays. All three of these spices do. Then we're gonna do a quarter teaspoon of cloves. Again, warming. and almost has a little bit of anise. And then of course, we're gonna do a little bit of ginger, about an eighth of a teaspoon of ground ginger. And ginger adds a little bit of spice and a kick of heat. Let's give this another little whirl and combine all of the flavors together. Now, to really bring home that chocolate flavor, we're gonna add a quarter cup of mini chocolate chips. So semi-sweet mini chocolate chips. The larger ones might break through the dough, so you wanna keep it on the petite side. And we're gonna just give this a quick little pulse I just wanna put a little bit of flour right on the board just to make sure the pie dough doesn't stick. And I'm just using store-bought pie dough to make this a little bit easier. We're gonna take a three-inch cookie cutter and we're gonna cut circles or disks. And then we'll go over here and I wanna have a teaspoon measure because I only want a little bit of filling. Not too much, because these are delicate. And then, you want to brush all of the sides with a little bit of egg wash. Just a beaten egg. Just to make sure that all of the edges are sealed. The egg is sort of like glue. Press down on the edges so it looks like a little crescent. And then, take a little bit of egg wash and just brush the top. It'll seal the top as well. I'm gonna bake these in the oven at 425 degrees for about 15 minutes until they're golden and crisp. 